How's it going? We're Parker. I'm Matt. I'm the only drummer. I'm James. Uh, I'm Mark, the keyboardist. And I'm Ian, the bass player. Um, basically, we formed about two and a half years ago, and uh, it all started. I had a bunch of songs. I'd just finished college, so I had a bunch of songs uh, together, and I found each of the members through various uh, websites. So, and also of recommendations. I found Ian was a recommendation for one of my friends. Uh, Neil, I got through some of the music shops and stuff. And Mark, I got from uh, the musicfinder.com. Musicfinder.com, yeah. Uh, our first gig was in Glasgow, wasn't it? It was yes. at Universal. <clears throat> and we'd, we'd set up our own club night. And I made, I think it was about 150 personal tickets <laughs> that I spray painted every single one and I left out in the sun <laughs> and uh, they all sort of fell at each other. So we had one big ticket. We pretty uh, much sold the place out, didn't but we? And yeah. ended up owning like 50 pounds. We ended up, <laughs> yeah, we, we sold the place out and it was a bit of a nightmare really because it Cause really it cost, wasn't, so, it cost so much with PAs and... Yeah, we had to buy all the PA, we had to hire in our own uh, guy to do the sound, we had to hire in, so we ended up owing money after we'd sold it out. MySpace is perfect because you get people just writing to you saying, do you want a gig? It turns out to be an amazing gig, but that's what I mean. It was wicked, that's how we played. We ended up getting a gig through the, with the automatic, just through MySpace. I sent out a bulletin yesterday trying to advertise for a street team, and we ended up getting like pages and pages of messages from people replying. It was people all over, because uh, we started playing outside the UK as well now, so it was good because we, we got people showing up in Italy and France that had heard the band, and. Uh, we've got some getting some from like Japan and stuff now. Yeah, Japan and Holland and stuff. But it's, but it's all things that are done through MySpace and stuff that you couldn't do before. So it was good. MySpace and Bebo and that's just sort of perfect for that kind of thing because they are worldwide. You just like free publicity as well. You start off as a band, did it? So I mean, like five guys, you're all like brothers, and you get like your manager. And then like as soon as you're signed, you've got like a whole record de uh, record label to deal with. Yeah. You know, you've got your You've got your publishing and you've got your PR and you've got everything. Before you had people marketing. working on you, it's quite hard to suss out what everyone's doing. So it's like a, it's a giant learning, learning curve. Yeah. It's good. It, you, you know, you become like part of like a big forward running train, you know, working hard to get your dreams to fruition. <laughs> Ambition and hard work. I think hard work is the main thing. You know, because nobody's going to work harder than you, you know. <laughs> No, yeah. Nobody no, really will, you know. Nobody's no going to work, work harder. If you've got the passion for it, then like, you know, yeah. work hard at it because nobody else is going to have that same determination. You've got to believe in it as well, like, right? because as soon as there's one person that doesn't believe, then they won't try the hardest. Yeah. You've got you to find a team that's really supportive and every single person believes that you're going to do it. And Because as long as you're confident enough within yourself, I mean, the whole, everyone in the industry tried to knock you down in the process, but as long as you're quite passionate about it and you've got a direct a direction to hit, it's, it makes it easier. Turn up and down the country. It's great doing the gigs, but coming back from gigs sucks. Doing Liverpool in a night. Driving yeah. to Liverpool in a night, night and driving back. Oh man, <laughs> we drove to Paris. We, we, we drove to Paris in the day, played the gig, and then got the Eurotunnel back the same night. So yeah. it was good. Well, it's good bunnies fun, in the morning, right? weren't we? It, it was, was good fun, but I tell you, loading the gear back in the flat, you know what I mean, at like four o'clock yeah. in the morning was not the nicest thing yeah. in the world. Yeah, good gigs. I think Parties. for me it's like um, yeah, actually, actually getting paid not to be in an office job. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Gave me quite it's a diversion from the, the rat race. <laughs> yeah, the and that, it's, it's just good fun, isn't it? Yeah, yeah meeting sure. people and yeah. uh, just just everything. <laughs> yeah. Everything, I love it. That'll be uh, acoustic performance or something, checking it up on MySpace or YouTube. I remember doing that, yeah, I remember doing things like that. Yeah, because you can, there's so many ways now, it's like, yeah, it, it's probably, it's just as easy as getting a gig now to get sort of worldwide recognition. Because the music yeah. programs aren't even that hard to learn, really. They know, I mean, it's, it's always good to get, I mean, you wake up one morning and then you've got somebody on the phone saying, do this, do that, and it's all, it's just... It's good having like, things constantly in the up, but when yeah. things get stagnant, you've got to worry a wee bit and find out where you've got to put the work in. I mean, it is the best thing being in the world, being in a band, you know. But it is also like the hardest thing. Um, just keep do the interview it. before the rain. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, just work really, really hard, you know. And yes. Don't don't stop. Stick at it, because there's a lot. There's always a lot of people that that are just 
willing to put other people down. Yeah, I'd say put put the time in when you're young. You know, learning your instrument. You know, because you don't really have much time when you become like a proper grown up. You know, so if you get your skills down when you're young. Do you want this?